In today's video, meet an insect whose wings are literally every color of the rainbow and an unbelievable insect that many first thought was a complete fabrication. First though, here's an insect that brightly shows their beauty in simplicity. Fireflies Fireflies don't need elaborately shaped wings or out-of-this-world colors in order to make it to today's list. All they need to do is what they do best, glow. Fireflies may not look pretty during the daytime, but when the sun sets, the magical beauty of fireflies comes into view. With the sun setting, these insects put on quite the mesmerizing light show thanks to their bioluminescent abdomens. Granted, everybody knows that, right? Well, what you may not know is that fireflies aren't flies at all, but rather a species of beetle. Found in warm, wet environments, they're slow-moving and harmless to us humans, making them fun to keep as pets. I remember a few nights trying to catch a few of them and keep them in jars as they make awesome nightlights. They can light up your entire room or garden and can have a calming effect as well. Poor Firefly, though. The Glasswing Butterfly Glasswing butterflies are named for their beautiful, transparent, see-through wings, which is an extremely rare feature among the family of butterflies. These exotic butterflies are mostly found in warm or humid forests of Central America as far south as Chile, with appearances as north as Mexico and Texas. They can have quite a wide wingspan, sometimes reaching up to 6 centimeters across. Their wings are not completely transparent, though. The wings will have dark borders that can vary in color from dark browns to hues of orange and even red. This gives their wings somewhat of a windowed effect. These transparent wings help the butterfly blend into the background, making them masters of camouflage. Extremely beautiful and very easy to take care of, you wouldn't want this insect as a pet if you're looking for a long-time commitment because, no matter how good you take care of it, its lifespan will always be around 6 to 12 weeks only. Spiny Stick Insect They might not be everybody's cup of tea, but there's something hauntingly beautiful about stick insects, even though they look like dried bits of twig most of the time. One type of stick insect stands out, though, and that's the spiny stick insect. Unlike other species of stick insects, this spiny stick insect doesn't look like a twig. Rather, its body is bulky and covered in small spines, giving them the appearance of dried leaves, which this bug takes full advantage of by using for camouflage and protection. The spiny stick insect is usually a light brown color, but occasionally can be green, beige, or dark brown, which adds greatly to their leaf-like appearance. Stick bugs do vary in size, with some being only a few inches long to a foot in length. These pet stick bugs are often very fragile and can only handle touch as long as you're very gentle. And if you are gentle enough, you can expect them to live up to 16 months, which is practically geriatric for bug standards. Madagascan Sunset Moth With wings that colorful, the Madagascan Sunset Moth truly is one of the most flamboyant moth species out there. In fact, when it was first discovered, people thought it was a butterfly. The moth's wings are iridescent and appear in shades of black, red, green, and blue. But the weird thing is that they don't contain any color pigment at all. The moth achieves these striking colors because of how their wing scales are angled, which act like little prisms. Hence, the wings give off a different color and pattern depending on how the light hits them. Because of their markings, it's regarded as one of the most beautiful moths in existence, making it very popular with those who want to keep beautiful insects as pets. They also can get quite big, with a wingspan measuring up to 11 centimeters across. Found only in Madagascar, hence the name, it's pretty hard to come across one of these gems in our neck of the woods. Also, a bit of a warning to you who is contemplating to keep this insect as a pet. This moth is toxic to most predators, and it's basically unknown if they're harmful to humans. But since they're so pretty, some people actually do take the risk of keeping them as pets. The Luna Moth Speaking of overachieving moths who have flamboyantly colored wings, I give you the Luna Moth. The Luna Moth is among the largest moth species in North America. It's sometimes known as the American Moon Moth, and it's purely nocturnal and only flies at night. Its name Luna, which means moon, wasn't given to it because of its nighttime habits, though. The name is rather a reference to the moon-like eye spots on its wings. It has lime green colored wings, which can be up to four and a half inches wide, and a white body with long curving tails trailing from their hind wings and light eye spots on each wing. Adult Luna Moths live for one thing, and that is to reproduce. In fact, adults have no mouths or even a functioning digestive tract. As soon as they emerge from their cocoon, they immediately set out to do what they were born to do, which is the proliferation of their species. With that, they only have a limited time in which to do so, as their lifespan is incredibly short, dying seven days after they reach adulthood. 
Sure, you can keep them as pets, but don't get too attached. Morning Cloak Butterfly Found in North America and Eurasia, this gorgeous butterfly looks like no other. The top of its wings are a velvety dark maroon. The edges are ragged and edged and what looks like a gold leaf. There's iridescent blue spots between the maroon and the gold. The underside of the wings is actually filled with striations of gray. On top of all that, the golden edges of the wings are quite visible. Both males and females have the same pattern and coloration, so no sexual dimorphism here, which is fairly common in butterflies and moths. They're also one of the longest lived butterflies in existence and can live for up to a year. This is mainly because they're one of the few butterfly species that hibernate during winter. They do it like how most hibernating animals do eating as much as they can before winter, then finding a safe spot to spend the cold months. Unlike other butterflies, they don't like nectar that much. They prefer to drink sap, the juice from rotting fruit, and honeydew from aphids. Lichen Katydid The Lichen Katydid, or the Marchia Hystrix, is a recently discovered new genus of the Katydid. Just like all other Katydids, it's a master of camo. No, it doesn't really blend into the background, as this insect is a mimetic, meaning it mimics the appearance of other things. Rather than looking like leaves or sticks, though, this one prefers to look like lichen. They can be found, obviously with great difficulty, in Central and South America, but they've been spotted in Queensland, Australia as well. Not only does its color match the lichens, but its body and legs have a bizarre assortment of spines and points that blend well with lichens. It's also covered with spiky, thorn-like protrusions or extensions. These traits, in turn, help it to blend in with the mossy background of the trees in which it lives. In fact, it does it so well that this insect is extremely difficult for both predators and insect collectors to find. Pretty as they are, it's not really a good idea to keep them as a pet, though. For one, scientists know very little of their biology. They can't even decide whether it's an herbivore or an omnivore. But it seems captivity is the only way to save this magnificent insect, as most of its natural habitat is being destroyed. Sadly, this thing faces the brink of extinction. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Which is an insect that hides a vicious streak underneath its flowery appearance. Flower Mantis When is a flower not a flower? Well, if it's a praying mantis, that's when. Flower mantises are beautiful insects, mimicking the color and shape of flowers as a form of camo. But underneath those petals is a verifiable assassin, a fact that doesn't deter people from keeping them as pets. To be fair, I kinda get it. They're just so pretty. One astoundingly beautiful mantis is the Orchid Mantis, which lives in the rainforest of Southeast Asia. As their name suggests, they look like wild orchids growing in the forests. The females are quite big, measuring up to three inches long, but the males are less than half that size, rarely reaching an inch long. It was once thought that they evolved to look like flowers in order to sneakily attack prey. How wrong scientists were. In 2014, scientists did systematic field testing to see how adult female orchid mantises operated. Turns out they don't use camo at all. In fact, insects were attracted to the orchid mantises more than any flower. So basically, they just sit still and wait for a meal to arrive. Octaeus Swordtail Butterfly Most people who see this butterfly for the first time believe it's fake and in no way could it be real in any sense. However, it is pretty real, and is as beautiful in person as it looks on screen. The Octaeus Swordtail Butterfly is a type of glasswing butterfly, which is clear given its transparent wings. But because of its characteristic red marks near its tail, many consider them to be the most beautiful butterflies in the world today. They can be found mostly in South America, in countries like Colombia, Venezuela, Suriname, Ecuador, Brazil, and Peru. Unfortunately, there's currently very little info available about this species of butterfly, despite its stunning appearance. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So, here's the deal. He does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Venezuelan Poodle Moth the Venezuelan poodle moth mystified researchers and baffled the internet when pictures of it went viral soon after its discovery in 2009. In fact, many believe that the insect was actually a hoax. I mean, seriously, that looks like a Pokemon. It was discovered in 2009, like I said, by zoologist Dr. Arthur Anker. Once the Venezuelan poodle moth was discovered or spotted, Dr. Arthur took a photograph of the new species. At a glance, the insect looks like a combination of a large moth and a bright, fluffy white poodle causing Maine to claim that the images had to be edited. Again, Pokemon. 
Since the moth was put in the spotlight, it's been a much sought after pet for collectors, looking for something cute, rare, and of course beautiful to keep as a pet. See you all next time!